Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're back working on our little uh, Farmall F14 project. Um, and today's, we've made some really good progress with it this week. Um, uh, started cleaning up the, the engine block um, and we've also started working on the rear wheel. We're gonna take that off to straighten it out next week, I hope. Um, today's job is to clean up the exhaust intake manifold. Now this is a uh, this is all cast iron, um, but it's pretty badly corroded. Uh, it's not too bad on the inside. Um, you can see these faces here are still pretty good. Um, there's a bit of dirt down there. The biggest issue is going to be um, this is a heat valve uh, to try and help preheat the carburetor and the intake manifold. Uh, now these tractors were a, you could either get them as a petrol engined tractor or a, and I hadn't realised this until I read the book very recently, this one is actually a petrol start diesel run. Uh, now it still runs through the carburetor, it's still ignited like a, with a spark plug like a normal engi uh, petrol engine. Um, diesel and kerosene are actually very similar. Uh, now kerosene was a very popular alternate cheap fuel to use on these tractors so most of them were a petrol start kerosene run this one is a petrol start diesel run if you're running them on petrol only you push this lever one way and it keeps everything a little bit cooler if you're running them on diesel you pull it the other way and it heats everything up and keeps it a lot hotter uh, so I want to be able to free this up, but I also want to be able to get these bolts out, um, which is going to be a bit of a challenge. So there's a number of ways I could clean this up. I could just go through and sandblast it, um, and that would clean it up externally. I could soak it in citric acid, um, a solution of citric acid. That would help clean it up. Um, today we're going to be using electrolysis to remove the rust, um, and hopefully this will help get into some of these uh, bolts and uh, free up the rust internally as well a little bit. It's not going to work very well but it will will start the process. Um, it will also get in around here and it will get inside and start to free it up internally as well. So electrolysis is a process by which we put an electric current, we sit this in a solution of water and washing soda which is sodium uh, sodium carbonate um, and we run an electric current through this and through the solution as the electrons from the electricity come through here and off this it takes little bits of the rust with it across to the um, to the sacrificial anodes it's a little bit like electroplating chrome or something like that uh, except it works in the reverse direction instead of plating this with something we're removing the rust from this and we actually end up sort of plating the anodes the sacrificial anodes in rust so what we're going to need is a plastic tub that is big enough to fit this manifold in now I'm not too worried about the silencer on it. This is wrecked anyway, so uh, my main concern is actually trying to get these bolts undone to get this off. So I only need that it's sitting in the solution up to about there. Um, so we need a tub. We need two, well, a couple of, depending on the size of your part, some scrap metal pieces to act as our sacrificial anodes. So the rust, once we fill this up with our solution, the rust, and put the power on, the rust is going to gather around these two and these are going to rust really badly. Um, and the rust is going to come off here. Uh, usually you have something across the top of your tank to hang your item in. Because this is so heavy, I'm just going to sit it on the bottom of the tank and I've got a couple of um, bits of plastic pipe to sit it on. You don't really want the base of your item sitting on the bottom of the tank because you want the solution to get underneath it and you want, um, you want a little bit of uh, room for, every, for the reaction to take place. Um, so we'll sit it on here. 
um, and I'll move them around because it won't work where it's actually sitting on there. Um, and the other thing we need is a power source. Now I'm just going to be using a battery and I'll put a battery charger on it because it takes a fair amount of power to do this. Um, so, so that's all we need. The, what we're doing, what we're mixing it up with is washing soda like this. Um, uh, this is sodium carbonate. You can get this in a lot of your cleaning aisles in your supermarkets, but it is getting a bit hard to get. Uh, so we normally want to use sort of half a cup to a cup of washing soda in about 20 litres of water. So I'm going to fill this up now and uh, mix the washing soda in and uh, we'll get this process underway. Okay, so I've put about 35 litres of water in here. Um, the next thing we're going to do is put the washing soda in. Um, I'm going to put one and a half cups in. This is, this is the top of a um, spray can, it's about half a cup. I want three of these. Just give that a little bit of a stir to start mixing it up. It does sort of stir itself a bit um, when the re reaction starts, it bubbles away a little bit. Now it's a good idea to always do this in um, well ventilated areas um, because it does release some hydrogen gas that is flammable and um, so we don't want that building up. Okay, so we'll drop our manifold in now. Now we need to be careful that our manifold is not touching either of our other pieces of metal. Now I've ground, ground a little shiny piece up here for the, uh, the wire to go on. We need good connections with all of these. So I'm just going to clamp this wire on with a pair of multi grips. Now it's very important that we get these wires around the right way. If we get them the wrong way around, um, we will end up rusting our object and cleaning up our sacrificial anodes. So electrons actually flow from negative to positive. So the piece we are cleaning is always negative. The piece, our sacrificial pieces are always positive. So I'm just going to clamp these onto the battery now. Got my battery charger on here, hooked up on here as well. And we should see it slowly start to bubble a little bit around, particularly around the, uh, the sacrificial anodes. Now this is quite a large manifold that we are cleaning. There's a lot of metal there that we need to clean. Um, this is gonna take quite a few hours, maybe even overnight. If we're cleaning a small piece of metal, we might need to slow the reaction down so that we don't damage it. We can do this two ways. We can either reduce the amount of power that we are using, so we could use a six volt battery instead of a 12 volt battery, or we could put a resistor in there. Um, an easy resistor to use is a 12 volt light globe, um, and that will uh, slow the reaction down a long way. We can also make up a weaker solution, so put quarter of a cup in 20 litres instead of uh, a whole cup um, and that will slow it down for uh, uh, for more delicate objects. Now this only works with on steel, it doesn't work so well on things like aluminium, um, they can release toxic gases, so can chrome, don't, don't try this with, uh, with chrome or stainless steel, um, just, just uh, iron, cast iron, steel, uh, that sort of thing. Um, so, okay, so now we've got our power onto here, uh, we can see all the bubbles coming up of it, 
Um, and as I suspected, um, the exhaust here where it actually connects to the manifold is not a particularly good electrical connection. There's a couple of bubbles coming off other bits, so we're going to get some connection through there. Um, but it is going to do most of the work around that piece first. Uh, and then we may need to move our positive connection onto, uh, sorry, our negative connection onto another piece of the manifold to get the whole thing to work properly. Okay, so this has been bubbling away in here now for about three hours. Um, we can see all the rust scum that's formed on here. We can see all the bubbles across here that are coming off the manifold. Um, this is a pretty big piece of metal we've put in here, so it's probably going to need a little bit longer than uh, we've given it. But I'm going to pull it out now and we'll have a bit of a look at it uh, anyway. So the first thing I'm going to do is disconnect our battery uh, so that we don't short anything out in here. Um, and then we can just lift this out. Oh, I did end up moving the negative wire from up here to bolt on directly onto the manifold down inside there um, just to try and uh, make the process work a little bit better. All right, so we'll lift this out. And it still looks pretty disgusting. But if we have a close look at it, this black stuff is all um, scum that will come off. Um, we've eaten away a lot of the rust around here. This was a copper gasket too, which has eaten away a bit. Um, so what we're going to do now is take this and give it a bit of a pressure wash uh, with a and a scratch with a wire brush, and that'll just take off all that that scum stuff that is on there. Uh, and then we'll have another look at it and see how it, see if it's cleaned up at all. Okay, so if we come in and have a close look at this now, um, that is pretty much bare cast iron there. It's got a little bit of a shine to it. Um, it's taken off a lot of the rust. Um, I didn't have, I would have liked to have left this in for a few more hours. Um, we can see this, I think this is a very poorly done braise on this, uh, probably a crack or something in the manifold. Um, but yeah, it's come up really well from something that looked like this to something that's that's pretty clean still need i'll probably throw this back in the tank um i'll, pro I'll have a bit of a fiddle to try and get some of these bolts out um, and then i'll throw this back in the tank to just uh, finish cleaning up some of the carbon and stuff you can see down here that hasn't quite come off um, hopefully if i can get this apart here when I throw this back in, we'll be able to free up the lever for the hot and cold. Um, but that's come up really nicely without uh, too much effort. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you've uh, found it useful and I hope to see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.